Hey, deserving listeners. So this is part two in which I go over the survey that I sent to y'all asking you questions about your opinions having watched the first six episodes. So I sent the survey out about, uh, well, it was just before the next batch of episodes. So you're, you know, the, the time point is, is that it's the end of the first night that everyone met in person. So it's right after that party where everyone meets each other. And I sent this survey out and y'all gave your opinions. And so I'm going to go over the second part of the survey. And this is going to be a member only video, but I'm going to have a free portion here for everyone. So we've already talked about um, Chelsea, Jimmy, AD, and Clay. So let's get to Laura. We don't have as much data after the first six episodes. And by the way, you, at this point when this episode comes out, you're probably finished with the season and you know everything about everything. Uh, we know very little about anything, especially with Laura and Jeremy. So take it easy on us with this. But uh, let's, just, let's just do both of them at the same time. Only about 10% uh, said that they like Laura and about 20% said they like Jeremy. That is interesting. I would not have expected that. I would have thought people, in fact, a lot of people like Jeremy. Uh, I mean, he's not one of the big people, you know, uh, Amy and AD and Trevor. Trevor was the most liked. <laughs> anyway, um, but a lot of, you know, it's a, but still, that's not a lot of people. But because Jeremy, you know, he's joking around. It, it's pretty aggra aggra aggravating. And then... Laura, I mean, that whole, I agree, by the way. I mean, Laura comes across to me as uh, something's going on. I don't know. But the date, the limited data that we have, you know, when she was in the pods and she's doing that thing with Jessica and she's like, just go, just leave. It, that whole, I, you know, I reacted to that. Um, I think Laura cares with, for Jessica, was trying to do the right thing, I think. But then you get the bean dip stuff and then the way she was trying to get Jeremy to do it and... So yeah, I get it. So then I ask, who is most like you? Well, only about 8% of people says that Laura is like them, and about 5% of people think that Jeremy is like them, which makes me like y'all even more. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. If I, met the, if I knew these folks, I'm, I'm going to take a guess and say that I would like them, I think. And then about a third, 35%, about... Uh, dislike Laura outright, um, which makes Laura one of the least likes. The least liked people are are Jimmy, Chelsea, Clay, and Laura. It looks oh, and Matthew, of course. Then I asked who triggers you. Uh, oh, and Jeremy uh, is also disliked by about twenty percent, but that's less than Laura. And then who triggers you? About twenty percent say L L Laura triggers you. It's interesting. I wonder. I wonder what the trigger is. It is it. I don't know. I'd be curious as whether. And not that many people are triggered by, by Jeremy. And then who will say yes at the altar? Almost nobody thinks that Laura's going to say yes to the altar. And very few people say Jeremy's going to say. Yeah. It, it looks like they're both done. And then who's already a no? Yeah. Jeremy. I'm. I'm surprised this isn't higher. But this. Is, so it's about a third of y'all think that Laura and Jeremy are already a no. I mean, it's possible that they're not already a no. Right. That they're thinking. Well, I think I'm a no, or they haven't even really given it much thought because they're all, you know, they're just swimming in the first day of meeting everybody. But, but, uh, but yeah, pretty, you know, I think that's uh, pretty significant. A lot of more, a lot of people think Jimmy's a no. Anyway, so with the next question, who sincerely got engaged to stay in the show? Insincerely, you know, about 10 to 15 percent say Laura was insincere in her engagement. And very few people, about 8%, think that Jeremy was insincere. So that's interesting. Yeah. 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 Uh, I could see Laura and Jeremy both having gotten engaged insincerely because when they are on their first day together and all that joking around and then when they're at that party, I, was that the first day? Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that wasn't the first. No, it wasn't the first day. The... I've been misspeaking <laughs> this whole time. The, the, that party was, I don't know the day, maybe it was day two or three, because you know they, they, they had nights to like sleep. Maybe it was the second day. Anyway, point is, is that Laura and Jeremy, very quickly at the party, they seem to already be contemptuous. And so 
uh, like with Jimmy and Chelsea, they didn't seem to exhibit contempt towards each other in episode six. They fought a lot, but they they didn't hate each other yet. They weren't rolling their eyes, oh, you again, you know, which indicates that even though they were fighting on a pretty high level, they're standing on a foundation of goodwill and effort and love and motivation or, you know, trying to make it work. Laura and Jeremy pretty quickly seem to exhibit contempt. The way Jeremy's like, yeah, I'm leaving. And Laura's just like, oh, him. It, it looked like they already literally hated each other, right? But I think I'm out of step with a lot of people here. Meaning that if they're already contemptuous, maybe they never were really in love, you know? Now, maybe they got sincerely engaged hoping that things would work out. I don't know. But then the last question is, who has significant relational trauma? Um, Very few people think that Laura and Jeremy have significant relational trauma. And we don't know because we haven't seen the evidence. They don't show those kind of classic signs like the way that Chelsea or, you know, Clay and AD, a lot of people say that they have relational trauma because they literally talked about it. But I wouldn't be surprised if y'all have seen ahead and seen indication that Laura and Jeremy both show signs of early childhood difficulties of some sort. But I don't know. All right. Well, let's adjourn there. And the rest of this episode, I'm going to try to finish the survey. I'm going to go over the other cast members. I'm also going to go into a lot of the hot takes that y'all submitted. You know, like uh, I'll give one hot take that I read. Uh, well, uh, 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 let's let's read let's read a couple during this teaser bit. So, someone says Jessica is fat shaming Chelsea when she says, "When you see me, you're gonna choke." To Jimmy, toxic femininity femininity going on there. Interesting. That's a, that's an interesting hot take. I mean, that's a, that's a hot take. Jessica is fat shaming. So, so right. So when Jessica is in the pods telling Jimmy, when you see me, you're going to choke. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Jessica, because in the, it's hard to know what Jessica meant by that precisely, because the way I interpreted it, which might not be true, is that she was merely saying, look, men think I'm attractive and I haven't been talking about that at all. <laughs> and you have no idea how attractive I am kind of a thing. Uh, it, it, you know, it was not, um, it wasn't a commendable thing to say in the moment, but given where she was at in the moment, I mean, if you, I think I might've said this at the time, if y'all out there who might be judging Jessica for having said that, unless she's fat shaming Chelsea, which that's a whole, it, we'll get to that in a second. But if she's, if she's merely saying, you're going to regret this when you see me, if, if she's just saying that, what I'm saying is that if you're judging that, if there was a videotape recording of every time you got dumped by somebody and we were all to watch those in succession, I'm going to take a guess and say that her response to being dumped was average-ish. Now, certainly there are a lot of people that get dumped and they're magnanimous and kind and non-hurtful or they don't have any so-called toxic femininity in there. Um, but we can certainly imagine worse. And we've seen worse on this show, right? Where people are pretty unfair and mean. But but I get it because you're hurt. You know, I think Jessica was totally in it. And we know that Jessica has significant, I mean, we don't know precisely, but her life story, uh, it would be bizarre if she didn't have significant relational trauma. So, you know, uh, there's that. But... Anyway, so Jessica is, uh, so this person is the same. My, my hot take is that when she was saying that, she was not only saying, I'm hot and you're going to choke, but I'm hotter than Chelsea by far, and you're going to flip when you see the uggo that you got with and the, you know, I'm, I'm the fox if there's... <laughs> If there's a Megan Fox among the two of it, I mean, I don't think Jessica would think she looks like Megan Fox, but you, you get my point. If anyone's a fox here, it's me. And she's Uggo and Uggo. <laughs> um, so if she was saying that, yeah, that's pretty awful. Uh, but even if she was saying that, we wouldn't know if that was fat shaming. Um, she could just be saying, 
I'm just particularly hot. <laughs> but it also could be fat shaming as well, for sure. And then it's toxic femininity. Yeah. Uh, is that toxic femininity? So we don't talk a lot about toxic femininity. Well, I'll do so during the member zone. <laughs> In the member zone. And so uh, it'll give me a second to, to think about it. Uh, it's something that I've talked about before and I've thought about, and there's, you know, I, I believe there's literature on it. Anyway, so let's adjourn there for the free version. Um, become a member if you want to see this full episode. And I have a lot of uh, member only videos that are in, uh, that are published. You know, I, I'm doing that whole thing with couples therapy, which is pretty pretty interesting to watch, um, you know, pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, so tune into that if you want to, or become a member if you want to watch the rest of this and everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.